Yeah, well, first and foremost, it's a games machine. So we're going back to basics, really, with PlayStation, going back to what made us great in the first place. So the whole design of the machine is uncompromising and doing the best possible job for video games. But of course, such a powerful machine can do so much more. And what we'll see right from launch is a very extensive range of movie services, music services, catch-up TV services. You know, a lot of what has made PlayStation 3 great over the last few years will port across to PS4 and will continue to grow brand new services as we go. But in terms of games, uh, we've got three key launch titles that we're backing heavily. So there's first of all Killzone Shadowfall, uh, so great successor to that great franchise. Uh, then we've got an, an amazing new and brand new uh, racing game which is called Drive Club, really, really building on the social features of PlayStation 4. And then a, a really clever platform type title uh, in Knack, which uh, you know draws a lot from titles like uh, Crash Bandicoot, but just shows off the technical prowess of the PS4 really, really well in terms of the, the sheer rendering and graphic quality that it can deliver in a, in a fun game that'll appeal to young and old alike. So that's just what's coming from us as PlayStation. Of course, if you look across all of the other publishers that are supporting us, there's a, a fantastic array of titles brand new uh, intellectual property like Watch Dogs, a much anticipated title, uh, the return of some great other franchises now in uh, even better graphical resolutions such as Assassin's Creed, FIFA, Call of Duty, so an amazing lineup of games to get PlayStation 4 off to a fantastic start. Well really our, our judgment on price was based around where we entered the market on PlayStation 3 and we felt we needed to do better. Um, so PlayStation 3 launched at £425 in the UK and that was a bit hefty for you know a very very capable machine so right from the start we wanted to launch at a lower price point but also deliver that uncompromising performance so i'm absolutely delighted at where the power per pound note i guess has come out uh, for playstation 4 and that happens to line up well competitively but very very well versus the starting point on ps3 yes i mean it's the first really significant uh, redesign of the dualshock since playstation 1 and, and while it's become technically superior over the last three cycles the shape itself hasn't actually changed so the first thing you'll notice if you pick one up is it, it just seems to sit much more nicely in your hand there's a, a balance to it and there's a, a real comfortable ergonomic feel to it the other thing you'll notice immediately is that there's a, a pad on it, a touchpad. So a lot of the laptop type functionality we're used to in terms of pinch zooming, etc., and being able to flick or press on that touchpad is there, so that's great for navigation. And the other thing you'll notice is that there's a light bar in the front of it, which can perform certain in-game functions, so for example, identifying individual players, health warnings, that kind of thing, but it also gives exciting motion control possibilities along with the, uh, the PlayStation camera. Uh, so we've got a really exciting demo here today called uh, Playroom, which shows in, in a really fun set of mini-games just what that can do. Well, we want to establish yet another mass market uh, games console, but it is a games console and much more. Uh, I think we'll start by focusing primarily on the gamers as we, as we are doing here at this show, and then I think we will continue to expand and further explain the wider entertainment credentials of PlayStation 4, just how much more it can do.